Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. This video is going to be on the 4 buck and 32 cal single watt, you know, loads I did. They are loaded with 26 grains of long shot, the flex seal wad, 21 pellets of number 4 buck, and 6 pellets of 32 cal single watt. Fold crimp, that's all it is. Very simple load, home defense style. But we're going to see how these do at home defense distances of 10 yards. What we're going to do is stick or start with a cylinder bore choke, modified full choke, and then I have an extra full choke in the H&R right here. Guys, we got a new gun. This is a Panzer Arms M4. It's a copy of a Benelli M4. And before anyone asks, yes, we're going to do a direct comparison between this and the real deal Benelli M4. So just stay tuned for that. But as for right now, we're going to jump into this seven yards see how they do all right guys let's see how these do we're at 10 yards and this is the cylinder bore choke soccer ball size pattern let's have a look at that now this gun does have an issue not an issue but large firing pin hole just like the Mossberg 835 this shell however did not show the uh flowback we were shooting some federal ounce and a quarter field loads in this gun earlier. And the primer showed some good flow back. Not on this shell though. Well guys, the pattern is a little bit bigger than a soccer ball, like I said, but it's here to here. And there's the 32 cal. 32. All four of the 32 cal is right there. But the four buck is spread out pretty wide. Let's see what the modified choke does. Alrighty, guys, I've got the same thing. He just shot another duplex. Only difference is this time is a mod choke. Okay, Gassy. that tightened it up a lot. Huh? That tightened it up a lot. Yeah. Anyways, let's see what the hole looks like. It should be the same. Choke don't really change nothing there. All's fine. Yep. When I say this tightened it up a lot, I mean it. Sorry for the out of focus camera there. Yeah, that's a lot tighter. In fact, you can see where the FS12 punched through the paper. Tape measures right there. And we've got. Come on, cooperate. Anyways. Uh, nine. nine by nine by ten. Yeah, nine by ten. Even diagonally across to this widest point is still about ten inches across. So we'll call it ten by ten just because. Yeah, that I didn't expect it to tighten up that much, but it did. Nope. I What's next? What the will do. I was gonna say what. What chokes next? All right, guys. Still the same thing, except this one's in a Rio hall. I was out of the Fiocchi's. Didn't feel like grabbing the new bag, but full choke now. <laughs> that didn't tighten it up quite as much as I thought it would that time. Maybe we'll run into uh, over tightening it. Could be. This shell still looks absolutely fine. It also had a Fiocchi primer too. All right, guys, here's our pattern this time. And I was wrong. I guess I'm just a bad eye today. But that did quite tighten it up quite a bit. We have a, be still, six and a half by eight and a half. I did quite uh, tighten it up quite a bit. Six and a half by eight and a half. Let's see what an extra full can do. 670 diameter. Alrighty guys. We've switched over to the uh, partner single shot now, only because we don't have a extremely tight choke for that thing yet. Yet, keyword. <laughs> but this one here has, I can't remember what kind of choke it is, but it's a 670 constriction. It is a, oh, it's a Mossberg. It 670 don't say what choke XXF it is. Turkey. It's and, not branded, it just has wind moss on it. Right. Anyways, let's see if we're over choking it at this point. I highly doubt it. 
We're what? We're still in frame, buddy? Oh, yeah. Nope. That's about a <laughs> four-inch circle. Wait till you guys see this pattern. Uh, I had no recoil for an ounce and five-eighths or dang near it. No recoil. <laughs> well. We didn't overchoke it. We need a tighter. For home, we have tighter. I know. For home defense, I think you should run the uh, 670 because... How should we say well, this? If you're on the fence about home defense, there you go. Minimal recoil. Graham Graham could throw that up to your shoulder and knock a bad guy back out the front door. Maybe. Right. Is that even worth measuring with the tape measure? Why, yeah. I mean, it's smaller than my hand. Three flyers. But the three flyers don't make sense. It was four buck. Oh, we've got... Let's see here. Oh, wait. <laughs> Anyways. About what I said. About four by... Four by four and three eighths. So about a, or I guess we go there four and three quarter. Right, and that's just the core. The, the flyers are. The flyers are fourteen. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense though. You fourteen the by eight. That would be the flyers. I feel like that's a pretty good guess on my part. I said it's about a four inch circle. It's, yeah. It's a little oblong, but. Well, guys, this was a pretty cool video. We got some pretty good patterns. That first one wasn't so good, but all in all, pretty fun. But we want to thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Yep.